Ethiopia will break down, Kenya will break down, Nigeria will break down, South Africa will break down, and look at South Africa. Only last week, the whites in Western Cape in South Africa have delivered a petition to the government in Pretoria saying they want to create their own country. Go to Northern Mozambique. The gas that is there cannot be produced because there is conflict. Northern Mozambique. Go to Somalia. Conflict. Here in your motherland. Conflict. Go to South Sudan. Conflict. Go to Sudan. Conflict. Go to Libya, conflict. Go to Central African Republic, conflict. Go to the Democratic Republic of Congo, conflict. Go to Burkina Faso, conflict. Go to Mali, conflict. Go to Chad, conflict. Go to Niger, conflict. Go to Cameroon, conflict. Go to Nigeria, conflict. Do I go on? I fly from Nairobi, Kenya for one and a half hours. I come from the shilling zone. I go into the beer. 33 currencies in Africa. 33 currencies. None of which is used to conclude transactions anywhere. I come to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and I show my shilling. They say, what is this? But let me show the dollar. Oh, this is it. Let me show the euro. This is it. 80% of transactions in Africa are concluded outside of the continent in dollars. Because we are not playing in the real league, we are playing in the small league. That is why when the Chinese president summons all our president and they summon them, the letters may be polite, but it's summons. They go to Beijing, tails between their legs. Two weeks ago, I watched in great pain on television in Bamako, Mali, young Malians celebrating in the streets that the government of Mali had entered into successful or possible successful negotiation with Wagner which is a Russian mercenary group to replace the French. And they are saying how beautiful it is now. And I said, a slave celebrating the departure of one slave master and the arrival of another slave master. That is the state in which we are. I watched a woman from Nigeria who had been rescued from the Mediterranean around Lampedusa saying, I will not go back to Africa. Even if I die in the Mediterranean, I'll try again and again. What is it that can make a human being say that I do not want to go back to my home? Because the natural instinct of a human being should be that you want to go home. It's because we are weak 